Welcome. Fancy a couple with me? Whew. Welcome everybody to a new review video. <laughs> Welcome to the Nifty Knitting Review video and today I have knitted my own outfit especially for this new pack. Not really, I can't knit to save myself. So let's check it out. Obviously in this pack it's going to be all about knitting and we have Mauricio Yarn Stringer here to show us some of the new items as well as his wife Thimble Yarn Stringer, their grandkids Ribbon Yarn Stringer, Pradana Yarn Stringer and Button Yarn Stringer. Now there is a new aspiration, Lord of the this sim has yarn running through his veins and will stop at nothing on his quest to craft the perfect knittable. And there's a new knitting skill as well, and I believe it's 10 level. So I've actually unlocked a lot of these items already, but before you unlock them, they're going to look like this in Create a Sim. So this sacred knitted jumper requires the sacred knitting knowledge reward trait to craft. I just really love bright colors on him. I think he looks so nice. We've got some nice button sweaters. We've got this uh, more basic looking jumper with a knitted segment to it. But if we do want to unlock these items, you can use the cheat creator sim, I mean Kaz, <laughs> dot unlock by tag SP17. And that means that if we go back into this, they'll be unlocked. So we can actually check these items out. I'm not going to show you this knitted jumper just because it's so out there and so wonderful. I just feel like I should save that for you guys to see later on. But here's the other jacket you can knit, which is really lovely. We've got some beautiful socks, which he's wearing, which can be knitted as well. I love these. Some of them are more crazy. Some of them are more muted. So you can have your Sims have a nice pair of socks knitted for them. They look really, really cute. Even got ombre socks here. Pretty awesome. Stripey socks, patchwork socks, mustard socks, and of course your classic slouchy knitted socks, which I feel like everyone has a pair of these somewhere in their wardrobe. In terms of hair, um, uh, for men, we have this hair, which is really nice. It's just like your simple pushback hair. It's got the little devil horns that I myself also have. And there is also the ombre version of it. I'm actually not really pleased about this one because this hairline is really looking like someone's just got a Sharpie and kind of drawn a line across it. This is a beautiful hair too, uh, with a side part. I absolutely love this. It's got a lot of volume on top too, so I feel like you could have a very glamorous sim have this type of hair and there's also a beanie here which is very cute which you can knit and this beanie was voted in uh, which is awesome and available I think for all ages too so let's have a look at some of the other outfits for different sims in the family thimble here loves bright colors she's very fabulous this hair reminds me of the hair from that 70s show uh, that the mum has so that's pretty cute there's also this fantastic hair which I think a lot of uh, players were really excited about Here's the same hair again that I will not be using. This hair also looks really good um, on Thimble. I think she rocks that. We've got a shorter hairdo here as well. In terms of sweaters, we have this one right here, which is really, really pretty. I love these pastel colors as well. We've also got some rainbow colors, which Thimble looks amazing in. I think she really liked the pink though. We also have this sweater here. And unfortunately, I can't tell which ones of these you can knit and which ones are unlocked. But from memory, the first three, I think you usually would need to knit. Then there's this gorgeous uh, tank top as well, which is very pretty. Lots of fun colors. I think they've done a really nice job on this. And this top as well, which I'll show on the female uh, teenage sim in just a moment. She's wearing the new pants with a little bit of embellishments on it. She's got these new fantastic boots that were voted in. And there's also a really lovely full body outfit over here, which is this one. Uh, so there's a beautiful sweater with a dress underneath. And I can't recall if this was voted in or if it was just added, but I thought it was a really nice addition to the pack too. So moving to Thredana, uh, Thredana's obviously wearing this new gorgeous hair and she's wearing this top, which I was very excited about to be voted in because I love the flowers coming up from the bottom. I think that looks so pretty. And here's that other top that we saw just before, which is very pretty in all of those bright, wonderful colors. We've got some new jeans here, which are available for men and women. And the boots go really nice 
nicely with them, but if we take these boots off, you can see they're just rolled up at the bottom. Also the embellished pant as well, pantaloons. And then if we go to little button here, button yarn stringer, he is wearing the cute little onesie. And I absolutely love this. I think your Sims can knit these too. And they're so cute. Look at the little elephant on there. There's a little ribbit, I mean frog, super duper cute. And it's just, I mean, a onesie, come on. We have to have more onesies. This one's my favorite though. And then of course you can have the beanie here for your toddlers as well. And they look super duper cute. Let's jump into some gameplay and check out what else this pack has to offer. I'm gonna evict the pancakes because I just feel like they've had their heyday. Goodbye pancakes. So there's a pre-made room here, uh, Granny Chic. So let's check out this. This looks pretty cute. Oh, I think this is actually the room they showed on the live stream maybe in a few different colors. And you can see here, I was really hoping that the bright colors picked by the community would be balanced a bit with some more neutral colors. So I'm very happy to see the more neutral colored room as well. All right, so I've just placed in a pre-made room and look at this, you can put a little button on the brand's new rocking chair, which so many people were excited about. Oh, so the toddler totally has an animation to play with. Oh, so they can be in the rocking chair. I love that. Now, if we just spin around, you can see some of the new items here. But one item that is really important is what I've just put in Thimble's inventory, which is this, the knitting bag, I guess. Okay, so she can sit there, she can start knitting some beanies. Uh, so we have all the different options here. Maybe let's try doing an orange tiger beanie. Keeping in mind she has no skills, so she's obviously going to be able to knit more than a beanie as she levels up. And isn't this so cute? She's just knitting away in a rocking chair. It's so peaceful. The only thing we're missing in this pre-made room is a fireplace. She needs to knit with a fireplace. Here's that fireplace we ordered. Isn't this sweet? I just, I just want to sit back in that chair and knit away. I'm curious to see how long it takes to knit the beanie. Uh, let's see what her task wheel is up to if we go over here. She's almost finished, so that's pretty good. And she's almost up to the second skill level of knitting as well. So that might unlock a new thing. Yay! And she finished her project. Now we can list on Plopsy, and Plopsy is the online marketplace where you can sell your things, or she could donate it to charity, or she could gift it to one of her sims as well. I want to check out Plopsy though to see what that is all about. And I also want to see what clothing we've unlocked. So now we're able to knit socks. Well, let's maybe gift this to Mauricio because uh, she's knitted this gorgeous beanie for him. She's so excited for him to be able to wear it. And she's like, honey, I just knitted you something really special. I think it's gonna look great on you. And he's like, wow, thank you so much. I love it. You should go back and knit more things. But really, he hates it. <laughs> So he's gonna secretly go and list it on Plopsy, <laughs> which is kind of horrible, while she goes back to, to knitting um, some, some socks. Let's knit some pink raccoon socks, cause hello, that's gonna be awesome. And he's just secretly putting that on Plopsy. So here it is, it says orange tiger beanie, selling price, no offers yet, expiration time, Thursday. It's Sunday right now and there's no buyers yet. So if we go to our computer and we go to order, we can actually browse Plopsy and see what's online to buy right now. And you can see lots of different different craftables that we can probably also post up there ourselves. So we've got candles that would come with eco living or lifestyle. What is it? Eco, get to eco. I mean, these sweaters can sell for a lot. 196 simoleons, not bad. So we can, I guess, uh, look to buy things if we want to. So we might be like, I really want a candle for 82 simoleons and we've bought something. Now, if we want to have a look at our own listing, Okay, I guess you can't uh, change the price of what you post on Plopsy, so you just wait for a notification of an interested buyer and maybe an offer. Okay, so we've just finished another knitting project. Let's see if we're able to view the inventory and place the socks in there. Okay, so you can't sell uh, what you've created for a markup price, so I guess we'll just wait and see if we get an offer soon for this beanie. 
and see how much money we're gonna get for it. So it's the next day, uh, we haven't got any offers yet. So what I might do whilst we wait is check out the new build and buy items in this pack. So this is a new door that's come with nifty knitting. This is very cute. And this was one of the items that uh, anyone could vote for to be in the pack. I have to say, I absolutely love this orange color and the little embroidered flowers is really, really cute in front of it. I think it would have been nice to see some of the wallpapers uh, in the pack, even though the community obviously didn't vote for them as a popular item. I think it just would have finished off the pack a little bit more to be able to pair it with the door. The greatest item of all is our rocking chair, which everyone was so excited for. And it's great because this rocking chair comes, I think, in a few different designs with arms, without arms, with a cushion, without a cushion, and lots of really nice color swatches. So you've got all of the pastels here that were voted for by the community, beautiful pastel colors. But I'm really glad to see that there's also the neutral colors, which could be made to look a little bit more like a grandparent's old antique chair. I do wish that the community had voted for a more of an old fashioned look for the pack. I'm not surprised at all that most people wanted bright colors and pastel colors. Uh, that was pretty much expected, but I think had this just been made by EA without community votes, it would have been great to see it as more of a vintage styled pack for elderly Sims or any Sim who's into more old fashioned or vintage furniture. I have to say though, I do adore this couch. I'm really happy to have this couch in the game, even though it's not old fashioned. So I still love the items in this pack. And I happen to really love this uh, deep color swatch. I think the color swatches are looking really, really nice and can be paired together quite well. We've got the Crafters Delight Hall table. Love this. It's got a cute little blackboard with a sheep knitting on it, which is very sweet. So that's nice to see. Again, lots of um, great bright swatches, but also neutral swatches. Good to see black and white there. This is a cool like peg board. Nice to see. Will we get a few different kinds of shelf items on it or is it all the same see with the different swatches i love when they repeat a swatch but change around the items on the shelves if that makes sense but that's really really sweet but i'd love to put one like next to this and in a studio have heaps of them but if i repeat this heaps of times obviously it looks a little weird having the exact same things on the shelves i mean what is a knitting pack without some decorative yarn balls i mean these are perfect to just kind of place around the house this was a popular item. I think a lot of people voted for this. What are these called? A little tabletop loom. And then, oh wait, this is awesome. Okay, so you can have another pegboard next to this one. Oh no, do they, they kind of go together. Do the swatches go together? Yes, they do. So you can kind of have these next to each other. I like that. Madame Crumple Bottoms embroidery collection. I love that they've mentioned Madame Crumple Bottom. Little throwback. I think the other thing is with this desk, you can put this whole table next to it. Oh, how cool is this? They like clip together and then you can move it around as one big table. I love that. Love it. Or you can obviously have the desk just a whole table by themselves and we've got another desk over here with a whole heap of wrapping paper on it some bunting very sweet i mean this is going to be great for kids bedrooms too i love the pegboard details too that's really contemporary i think these shadow boxes i had these when i was a little girl so it reminds me of my childhood how cute are they and you can kind of put them next to each other I'm gonna use these a lot. Crafter's Dream Shelf, beautiful. Very nice, lots of different swatches again. Bright colors, more muted colors, patterns, no patterns, loving this orange. We've got this little beginner's yarn basket, very cute. Of course, we have the sewing bag, which is great. Clutter, and this is great, I love this uh, craft cart. This is really, really cool. I'm gonna use this so much and I'm so glad this is in the game. So those are our items. And I believe you can actually make a few other things. Maybe we have to unlock them. They'll be in, I think if I use the show hidden objects sheet, we'll be able to look at them. So I guess with this pack, you have to remember a lot of the items are there to be unlocked. So you're not going to see everything as soon as you open the game, you're going to have to work towards them a little bit. So there's more in this pack than what meets the eye. These 
planters were so popular and I love how many different colors we have. I love that you can size them up if you want to have something a little bit more dramatic hanging from your ceiling. But these are fantastic and obviously you're going to be able to craft and knit these. Look at these little cacti in pots, the llamas, so cute. I'm just going to size some of them up so you can kind of see the detailing. Oh, and this is great to see as well. There's longer ones and shorter ones. So if you have a really tall ceiling height, you can definitely have different lengths and still be able to see them. These are gorgeous. I love these. Oh my gosh. I feel like every house is going to have hanging plants in it from now on. Then we have some really cute little toys here, I think. Or well, maybe they're not toys for kids to play with. They're more sculptural items. And look at this Octavian, the octopus. Is that not the cutest thing you have ever seen? And what I'm actually really looking forward to seeing is the tiny little grims you can make. Oh my gosh, you can even make a rug. Look at this. How nice are these rugs? Oh my gosh, I love that color and the teal color. These will look so nice next to each other with uh, the couches over here. I mean, how nice is that for a more, I don't know, sophisticated look? Oh, Claire the Bear, these definitely look like toys. They remind me of little Care Bears. And then this is what I voted for, Lil Grimm's. I love the Lil Grimm. This is so freaking awesome. I'm going to give these to my kids in real life. And this is cool. This is Yanni. Yanni is a character from the game Unravel, which is also by EA. And I happen to love Unravel. So I'm very excited to see Yanni cross over with The Sims. And we have the gorgeous knitted letter boxes, which I'm so excited to see in the game. I didn't think that these were voted for. Maybe they, maybe they didn't win the vote, but they're so cute. So for the aspiration, Lord of the Knits, the reward trait is a sacred knitting knowledge trait. So Sims with this trait gain enhanced benefits to teaching other Sims how to knit. Sims are also immune to the foul magic of the sweater curse and can dispel afflicted Sims from its snarly grasp. Lastly, Sims have the ability to craft unique knitted items like a very special companion from a strange land. Ooh or the forbidden sweater, which honestly is forbidden for a reason. Now, I believe the forbidden sweater, James was talking about this earlier, is like a sweater you knit. And if your Sims are married, you can give that sweater to one of the Sims and then they break up with the other Sim. So I'm going to be really excited to test that out with gameplay. Okay, so it's nighttime the next day and we've finally got an offer on the beanie, which is exciting. Pineapple Guy 87 would like to purchase it. Uh, if you agree to the sale, then find the Orange Tiger beanie in your inventory and ship it to send off to its new forever home. So buyer is Pineapple Guy. He's offering 80 simoleons. I don't know if that price changes from time to time, uh, but obviously we can ship on Plopsy, take it to the letterbox, and then I guess we will get paid for that. So it looks like it's gonna, it's like a, a little bit of extra income. It's nothing crazy. Um, but I guess if you list a whole heap of things, you can probably make a few hundred simoleons extra each day. So it's like a nice side gig. I'm just listing all of these other items on Plopsy that my Sim actually just made on their own. I didn't tell her to knit these. So I was very excited to see that she'd been busy. So if we check back in with Thimble, she's now at knitting level skill three. Now she can knit some clothing items such as beanies and socks. She can knit objects like plant holders and mailbox cozies. Uh, and obviously resume what she's making right now, which is a hanger. So that that's pretty cool. Knitting can have up to 10 skill levels unlocked. And obviously once you get to level 10, you're gonna be able to knit all sorts of objects and clothing items. And of course, again, if you complete this aspiration, you'll unlock a few things as well. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this pack. I personally think it's a very cute pack. I would probably like to see a little more options with Plopsy uh, to be able to kind of utilize it online, similar to the market tables we already have. So you can be like a super successful knitting business owner. Granny gets rich from ripping off people. But I mean, I think the pack's really cute and for a stuff pack, uh, a lot of people would enjoy having this in their game. Anyway guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, after your evening, wherever you are in the world, and I can't wait to speak to you soon. Dag dag.